G! Sam the man. What's up, my man? Look at this. How you doing, man? You talk about what? Come on, talk the expression of um, welcome with uh, doors wide open, huh? You know what? I, I like to, you know, when I bought the house, it was like, you know, it was a brand new home, but it was like a bunch of little doors and a bunch of little windows. I'm like, who designed this? So I opened everything up. So you know, let, me, let, me, let me show what I did with it. The doors open up, you know, and um, I didn't want to, you know, I felt like cooked up, you know? Uh-huh. But all this thing, all the way. Look at this, man. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. So all this was like all closed up, and it was like a French door and a window one. Wow. Here. You know, so kind of open it up, kind of give it like a little Las Vegas, like inside, outside. Oh, that's a very big Las Vegas. It's like, kind of like a desert home. Yeah, yeah, kind of like, you know, we're kind of... Oh, man, Sam, this is gorgeous, Thank man. You. Look at this. Oh, it's freaking believable. Thank you, man. Wow. The hard work does pay off, huh? You know what? You know, we've been at it, man. You know, we've been at it. So is that a see-through tub there? Yeah. I wanted like a, like a kind of a like Moses corner right to see kind of thing. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I always wanted that. Don't ask me wow, why. Wow, you know? look at this. My, my, my little girls go in there and get like mermaid pictures done. And oh my God. All that kind of stuff. Awesome, man. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, cool. Relax, you know. So when I'm at home, I like to just like. You know, I'm from Pennsylvania, so it's always cold and rainy and it's never the right season. So when I came to California, man, I want to be outside all the time. Oh my god, it's totally see through. That's so cool. You only see this like in resorts. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I got the idea in a couple of like model homes and resorts. Uh-huh. So I went to my buddy at Splash Pools, you know, and I'm like, I'm like. And I found out he did one of those model homes. I'm like, how come you didn't build me Chino Heels? He goes, because nobody asked for him. I'm like, I want one in Chino Heels. So is that is that a third area over there, like sort of when you open up the umbrella and you just lay in there? That's yeah, like yeah, that's like a, you know, like the sunbathing area. And that's the round thing right here, that's the entire thing. Really cool. Got the grill, you know, got the fridge, you know, got plasma. Yeah. Oh man, this is so nice. Very well put together. Thank what do you, you have here? What is this? Table. Okay. So, you know, we got a big family, you know. My wife is Latina, so they actually got a big family. <laughs> so, yeah, we got like, we got about 30, 40 people at the time. Wow. You know. So, how long have you been here, Sam? You know, I bought the house two years ago. Really? You know, I bought the house two years ago, but I really moved in here six months ago because it took me about a year and a half to customize the way I wanted oh, to. You know what I mean? You know, you know, in Bolano, they won't let you build a, uh, I like modern, like, you know, homes with big views, right? But in Bolano, they don't let you build that kind of home. It has to be a certain style for mm -hmm. a community. So this was a brand new home, and I made it modern in the back. The golf course and the homeowner association are two different entities. I get, which is stupid, right? You know, you know, the association should own the golf course, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, so since they don't, it's different ownership. And now the, the golf course itself, just let it go. It literally yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. It's funny, man. It's like, all my life, I'm going to live in this neighborhood. And um, and uh, when I knew that it was, the golf course was gone. So. so when you moved in, was the golf course still green or no? It was green, yeah. And then recently? Right after that. I mean, literally like a month oh, or two after that. Uh, that had to have an effect on the property values? For sure, for sure, a little bit. But, you know, they'll figure it out, you know? The funny thing is, gee, in 2007, mm -hmm. I came here, I thought I thought it was bad, right? So I like, you know, half moon and saved up. A small track home here was 1.6. So I went over there, I was like, yeah, man, I'm ready. Here's my 500,000, you know, I'm gonna find that's 1.1. And people just outbid me cash. You know what I mean? Outbid me cash every single time. So I knew this I had to go. This was 2007. This was, yeah, 2007. Sort of, still at the peak of the market. Yeah. So then, um, you know, I literally left with my tub and I'm up here behind. And <laughs> I was like, I need to step my game back up. So wow. I came back literally 10 years later and, you know, bought this cash. And I was like, you know what? <laughs> you know, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna, you know. I, I was so devastated because I couldn't even, you know, I thought I, you know, I thought I did something back then. Well, <laughs> It's funny how people still think that half a million dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. That's just, it's a different world now. Man. Yeah, that's a whole different world. What's the square footage in your home? 8,000. So that's 
yeah. more than you more than you'll need for a long time. Yeah, I mean, this, this is perfect, man. You know, I mean, this is what I need. Mean. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, this is, I will be here for up until my kids go to college, and then I think Newport. Newport. Yeah. Everybody, if, it's funny. Eventually, people end up down there. You know, if I didn't have kids that go to school in this area, I would be in Newport. So for now, for the next nine or ten years, mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah. Well, it's not not a bad, yeah. bad place to be. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing, man. I know you like cars, but let me show you some cars. Yeah. So you got a clear door. Yeah. So you got you got you know, to look at the garage, man. Holy moly! Look at this. Ha ha ha. But you're, but you're too tall for these cars. You might fit in a bed, but I don't know about the lamp and Ferrari. That's the problem. Kind of the challenge, right? Yeah. I've been kind of hold back a little bit, you know, getting one of these. I'm 6'3". Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and sometimes the thing is, like, when I'm 6'3", and I, like, my head would tip over, or my, or my knees are too close to the steering wheel and all that, but they said that they make the, the one model where it's a little bit more extended, like, like, three, four inches more. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's what they said. Or they said they need to work with it. They could actually extend the seat back. But like, if I get in this right here, I'd be, I'd be pretty yeah. front. Yeah. I mean, because this is perfect for you. Yeah. For me, it's perfect. For me, it's perfect, man. You know, I think up to about five, ten is good. Mm -hmm. Any more than that, I think you're, uh, you kind of, uh, yeah. Really absolutely. Absolutely. And the bed is not bad. The bed is not. Yeah. I just never forget into that. Yeah. Yeah. Or my partner's got them. Yeah. I'm not. It's not my thing, but that one is a special edition one. That's why that's kind of like investment. That, that, got a lot of balls. Yeah, that one has 650 horsepower. It's, it's called Carbon 65. Uh huh. So this is for 65th anniversary of that. 650 on the remain, and this is number 482. So 650 may. This is 482. 482. So that's just. That's it. Yeah. Which is your favorite out of the three? Honestly, man, I don't have one. It's just because of what mood you're in. Yeah, favorite kind of. Guy. Yeah, you know, you know, my favorite daily driver is the Rolls. I mean, Where's that one? At? That one's in here. <laughs> well, this is just that. What's it called? The carbon fiber thing? This, yeah. this is this, this is the carbon composite. Carbon composite. Yeah, this is light. Light. Yeah, it's lighter. Lighter. I have I have a, a carbon fiber on my car, but it's, it has a little bit different. Uh, yeah, yeah. This car be a little different. Yeah. Hello. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So, you notice I don't like waiting. <laughs> I have two or you know I hate like you gotta do the whites and they gotta wait for the whites and do the white. I hate that. My pet peeve. Wow. So this this is this is my favorite. So this is your daily. Yeah, this is my daily. Dude, you brother's favorite brother in the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put this in the Costco parking lot. How about that, man? Oh, 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 but inside, you like the interior color. What do you say? Nice. So it's almost kind of like a... Kind of like a dark salmon kind of color? Yeah, that, yeah, you know, that, I, you know, I, the regular Rolls Royce color, man, is like white or black or brown. I want something a little more sportier. Yeah. And matching our what we said. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, this is tight, man. So this is the... Um, the ghost. The ghost. Okay. My, and my the, favorite the Phantom one. is the bigger one. Yeah, right? the Phantom, okay. yeah, yeah. I don't think the Phantom will fit in the garage. No, it might, might be a little bit. The How long you have this one, Sam? Two years now. Two years? Yeah, this is two years. Got a brand new? Yeah. Yeah. So when you're a little kid, you have this, Hot Wheels. This, this and the Range Rover are the only cars that I leased. Everything, okay. everything I bought. Cause these, you know, no, you don't want to drive an old ass road, man. You know what I mean? You know, a, a Ferrari or Lamborghini is always a classic, right? right, right. You can always drive it; they always look yeah. good, you know. You get your, you get these done too. Yeah, matter of fact, the guy who who, who did them is coming over in a little bit. Okay. See, those are all carbon fiber cabinets. Those are real carbon fiber. Nice. Come, you know, so he did the whole garage, so, man. Let me ask you this: So, what made you put a plasma in your garage? You know, this is the only place that I can say, this and the office is my only place that I say is a my, my space. My wife and kids took over everything. <laughs> so I gotta have some manhood left, you know what I mean? So when I wanna have like a party and stuff like that, you know, I get, you know, I got a fridge right there, I got some beers, some drinks, watch the football game, we can just, you know, you I can bring just, a couch in here. Yeah, the couch, the couch you know, or, or we can have, you know, if you wanna go to drive in, we just drive our car, uh -huh. watch the game. <laughs> so a winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Nelson Mandela. How about that? Definitely. So this is a total guy space. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you want that. I have to have some identity, man. <laughs> With all girls in the house, I felt like I lost my, you know what? So you lost your man. Yes. <laughs> Here's Kaiser. Come on, Kaiser. This is this is my German Shepherd. Kaiser. That's our Kaiser. That's his brother. This is, right? this is my girl's favorite part because they call it the magic toilet. Yeah, the bidet. Yeah, they are called magic toilet. So everything is like plays music. Look at that. When, when, when people come over, my little girl's like, oh, this is like, let me show you the toilet. I'm like, dude, at all the house, you want to show the toilet? So that's it. The showcase of the house. Yeah, for them. This is our best friend, man. Cool. <laughs> I love it how it's just so, so grand. It's so open, wide open. open yeah. Me and my wife are total opposite. I'm an OCD kind of guy. Everything has to be neat, clean. Right. Actually, kind of fair experience. So I hired somebody to clean the house five days a week so we don't fight. Nice. So this was like a little thing. So I put like a little infrared sauna here. Infrared sauna. Perfect, man. When you work out, then you uh -huh. want to come in and just read a little book, relax, meditate. See, what is a uh, walnut or cedar wood? I think it's walnut. Okay. How, how hot does it get in there? It gets like 170 degrees. 170. Yeah. So you're roasting, yeah. huh? Yeah. How much How much time is recommended to be in the infrared? About oh, 15, 20, 15, Max. 20 minutes. And it'll... Yeah, but, but you can turn it down a meter longer. Okay. This is my little girl's room. Princess, look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> so I custom built this for them, you know? Wow. I saw, I saw somewhere on, I think, um, where did I get them? I, I got them somewhere. I sent it to my builder. I'm like, I got, I got to have this for the girls. And I didn't show it to them up until like he was all done. So is this like where she stands yes. right here, lets down her hair, and then the prince? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to hear that. You know? <laughs> Gotta set the standards high. Oh my god. This is an empty room that's gonna be, you know, I don't know if you know, I'm expecting twins. I heard, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> this, this is gonna be this is gonna be the twins room. Right? Right wow. This is how about that, huh? My shoe closet. And I noticed you had to put your thumb on there? Yeah. Or your finger? Just a few kicks, huh? I don't know, man. I, yeah. So you got a shoe fetish? Yeah, I'll, you know, I do. <laughs> I need to give me a pair of boots like this. Botas de charol, Luis Valdez. <laughs> <laughs> that was the funniest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> That's what Mexicans call yeah, it, Louis Luis Valdez. Luis Valdez. <laughs> it's the funniest thing I heard for a long time, man. <laughs> I don't believe this. So Sam, you actually really do wear these. I do. Like, like, where do you wear these to? You know what? Like, I have actually. Let me show you what I wear. With. I have a matching jacket. Let me show you the matching. Oh jacket. my yep. God! You gotta be. Fact, Whoa! Look at this. Beverly Hills shoot. Beverly Hills shoot. Oh, this is nice. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wear some Christmas stuff. We're gonna take some Christmas pictures today. Let's do it. So Louboutin men's. Yeah. So I wonder what that feels like. You kick someone in the ass. Yeah, that, that. that would be weird. This is that would be weird. But I think this is my most expensive shoes. Does I wore to the wedding? Yeah. I told. Uh, I told Louis Vuitton. Yeah, Louis Vuitton too, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I never knew they made uh, they made menswear or yeah. men's shoes. So yeah. I told her that they're so expensive that I'm gonna wear it for our anniversary for the rest of my life. Look at that red bottom, man Louis Vuitton. Or how do you say it? Louis Vuitton? Oh. La Boutin. La Boutin. La Boutin. La Boutin. Wow. Is, well, that a, right. is that an actual guy? Yes. It is. Yeah. Holy moly, look at this. So when that when that golf course was green, this I mean though. Yeah. Incredible view. Yeah. But they say nobody use it no more. Yeah. So let's see, this was uh if I'm, yeah, I remember I remember that. I used to tee off from that side. Yeah. You remember, you, you've been here many times, right? I, 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 used to I, was, I was gonna buy a home. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Right before, right before I was gonna buy here, it showed me that I was gonna buy here. Yeah, I, I, I heard your house. Yeah, I'll, I'll have you guys come over. Yeah, we'll have a, I'm, I'm gonna have a, got an for you. O
So what, what's this right here? Is this kind of stretch and stuff? So, so, so I, so I know my girls a lot of times, you know, my little girls want to get in the bed with us, man. Okay. I know I want you guys to sit right here and give me some space so they can they can lay here, watch TV with us, and kind of chill. So this is uh, like three parts? Like yes. One, two, and then three? Correct. Wow. That just looks like you could fall asleep, huh? Man, yeah, they got, <laughs> yeah, it's like a flower. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Yeah, I heard your wedding was just out of this world, man. Right. Oh, Beautiful. So this is the closet. So this is your side, I'm assuming. Yeah. Because yeah. I see heels over there. Those are yeah. not for you. Yeah. Hope not. So this, so this is a matching. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say about the matching jacket? <laughs> this is it. Oh my goodness. This is my matching jacket your too. Your clothes is almost kind of like if you're going to the store at uh, South Coast Plaza, and you, it's it's all set up that way. You know, I told you, man, I have, I have severe OCD. Where do you get that from, you think? I don't know. You know, I always need to think structured, neat and clean. You know, when, when I when things are out of place and things like that, I can't function. You know who's like that? Like, really? I have a two and a half year old, Mac. He can't see stuff like socks or shoes laying around. He picks it all up, puts, it in, way. puts it in the van, has all his shoes lined up. Like, he has little cars, his little animals. He's got to line them all up and stuff. <laughs> so he's, he's already like that. I'm like, oh my God. I think I got a problem. You know, I mean, I mean like, you know, I'm, I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna fight with the wifey. I'm just gonna have somebody do it. <laughs> and your wife is, not, I'm assuming not she, like She's that. very spirited, you know what okay. I mean? Okay, this is her, this yeah. is her space. Yeah. Wow, look at that. Yeah, looks familiar. Listen, my wife has all yeah. the <laughs> initials and all that shit on there too. Wow, look at this. So it's so, it's so like contemporary modern, right? Yep, yep. You got the screen there in yep. the yep. restroom? Oh man, that's amazing. So yeah, we had to put TVs in there. And then I saw this and I'm like, I have to, I have to do this in the shower. This is steam room as well. Uh-huh. Oh wow. <laughs> that's insane, <laughs> Sam. How can you see that? You haven't seen this? No. It's a Wow. Deal. So that's just a whole lit area in the back there. I mean, look, look how, I mean, it just looks opulent. Yeah. And you got your car wash <laughs> on there. Nine shower heads. Amazing. You got the one on the top too. Yeah. Oh man. This is like very like Aria. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, just, it, it, it has that total feel too. Yeah. A lot of it came a lot of it came from that. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. That's why I always keep my eye out when I go to these nice resorts and stuff. Look at this. Unbelievable, man. Huh? This is a third floor. Look at this. In case two weren't enough, huh? <laughs> the connection of the physical conditioning of when you work out and then the, the fasting. I, I didn't quite understand all that before. And it seems like I turned the corner on getting that and I started to really transform my yeah. body. Yeah, yeah, it's, you, know, you not only transform your body, when you look 15 years younger than 10 years ago. You know what I mean? <laughs> like 10 years ago, you look 15 years older, you know what I mean? It's, that it, makes it, a difference. It, that's crazy, right? Yeah, it does make a difference. And it's, it's, all, it's so, um, I guess it's too, it's, because I, I, my philosophy is always, age is a feeling, not a number. True. And you see, you see people that are in their 30s, they already look 50, and they feel 50, and they talk like they're 50, or 55, or even older than that, because their energy is so low, or they don't quite see themselves being active. It seems like they get older, they think they're supposed to slow down. It's like, fuck that, dude, come on. You gotta have, you have to get up and and have passion and purpose. Now. Absolutely. If you don't have that, then the rest is down here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No doubt. Oh, bro, I'm proud of you, man. I'm proud of you. Well, thank you, man. I'm trying to, I'm just trying to get to the next level. We all are, right? The next one and the next one. That's what I love about you. 
Well, there's no sense in being complacent. There's already too many of them. I see people that just got no grit, they got no hunger, they got no ambition. They're just existing. That's a, like foam just laying out. Yeah, that's something that, I, you know, it's like, I can, I can't be the same person you were yesterday. That's, yeah, that's, you talk about people you know, that are depressed. This is your office here, Sam? It's funny how we have that same uh, that same dollar bill at that, the hundred dollar bill. You do it? Yeah. We give, we give those away for uh, uh, rewards or awards at our at our conferences. Awesome, man. Yeah. So let's sit down and talk about you. Yeah, thank you. Um, you want to sit right here this room? Yeah. Okay. But now when you never man, you know, you know, we know that this is always what I wanted. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always what I imagined, but I didn't know how I was going to get there, or if I was going to get there. You know what I mean? What, did you feel like there was a moment like when you turned the corner and said, okay, I got this, or, or is it, was it just totally gradual? Uh, it wasn't. You know, uh, there was a moment where I was like, wow, this is really happening. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was like, I can't believe this is happening. Was that like was it a dollar amount attached to like yeah 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 <laughs> yeah I, you know I remember um, I remember vividly you know for me you know making money is like bench press you know bench press is like all right you know I what I was like when whenever I get to two plates on each side oh my god that'd be great so you get to two plates you're like okay that's cool but what about Two and a half plates. Right. Or about three plates. What about right. three and a half plates? So you always want to keep pushing more. Forever, man, I mean forever and ever and ever. Um, my number was, man, if I can make a hundred grand a month. To me, I was like, that I'm like, who can possibly, you know, do that? You mm -hmm. know, you know, and I remember when I got to a hundred grand a month, right? Because I remember watching Ed, I mean I told Ed this himself. Mm -hmm. I remember watching Ed speak at Ontario. This was like 15 years ago or something like that. You know what I mean? On video? Yeah, on video, right? Yeah, I, remember yeah, yeah. I remember he was like, yeah, he goes, I remember his exact words. He goes, yeah, I made $363,000 last month. 363. 363. Uh -huh. That was 15 years ago, you know? And he goes, I made 363 last month. My patient was and I'm going like this. And this is 15 years ago. Me, I'm just starting my business. And I'm going like. What did he say? I'm like, what? I'm like, I, was like, I couldn't even like, it was almost like somebody build the, the, the Egypt pyramids. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's not even possible. Like, how? So that to me was like, what the hell was that, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, I couldn't even like, even put that as a goal because my mind rejected it. You know what I mean? So my mom was like, if I just do 100, I, hope, I mean, to me, 100 was the ultimate, you know, ever and things like that. So I remember when I, first time I hit 100, take home for a month, I was living on a mission in Pomona. <laughs> I was like, I was on the phone, I was like driving by, I pulled over the side of the road. I called every person that knew that that was my goal ever. And I said, dude, I had that goal that I wanted. Wow. And they were like, wow. I literally was like seven or eight of my close friends. And I told them that. And then a few months, I hit 363 or more. And then I'm like, oh my God, I caught it. <laughs> you know, and then I was like this. Wait a second, now we did that 15 years ago. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, wait a second, he did that 15 years ago. We caught him 15 years ago. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah 15 years ago. I'm like, I'm like, gosh, man. So it's always, I'm, I'm like, no, no, you know, like, that's crazy. So it, so that's, you know, that's the, the number behind it. So it's funny how you can hear a conversation or you hear a number said by someone that you know or at least to some degree you can relate to. Yeah. And then all of, you, all of a sudden it becomes something that stretches your vision. Yeah. And then you sort of feel like, wait a minute, that's like the new target. That's yeah. what I need to go hit. And, and obviously it happened for you. Yeah. That was amazing, man. Um, you, you heard that one talk from Ed. I heard, I don't know, a thousand yes. talks from, from Ed over yeah. and over again. And it's like, I've become a man who I am today in part by listening to what he said and how he's constantly stressing my vision. and. Get, getting me to think that wherever I was at it was unacceptable and then there's more and there's more and there's more and then did you have your like group of critics on the side that you know when's enough enough and I oh, love man. you the way you, you are and all that kind of talk you always have that man you know especially when you are you know 
you know, you are at the highest level at your family and your gallery, you know what I mean? I mean, I was at the highest level in my family when I was making 20 grand more. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I was like, oh, the, I am. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't, I didn't have anything to, you know, oh my God, I need to be like my uncle or my dad or anything like that, you know what I mean? You didn't have any, like, rich family member or anyone that you looked up to? No, or, or no, no. So you were the guy who just yes. sprung from, yes. from being average ordinary to, to the next level? Yeah, and you know, you know, you know, all the bad connotations with money. You know, oh my God, why is he working so hard? Or what is he doing? Why does he need all that? And all that kind of stuff. And for me, you know, as you know, for you and, and everybody who uh, you know, is somewhat successful, money is not about anything. It's, it's about freedom. Mm-hmm. You know, and we talk about, you know, um, we all came to the United States for freedom. Absolutely. And we all came, but are we really free? That's, that's the question I always ask. I'm like, do, are we really free? I mean, do you call that freedom or do you call that jail? I mean, for me, if you have to get up in the morning, drive two hours in traffic, go into a place that you hate to work, and with people that you hate to work with, and drive two hours back, come home defeated just to pay the bills, to me, that's worse than a prison. Oh that's, a, that's a death sentence. Absolutely. So you might live in America, but you're not really free. The definition of freedom for me, it's always been do life on my terms, mm-hmm. right? You know, and you know, there was times, there was times, man, that I was broke, I was dead. You've seen me through it all, you know? That, you know, I had to pay the bills, I had to pay the mortgage. I, I, you know, I had, I had, I had to, things to cover, and I would, you know, like, take on a client that I knew the client was going to be a pain in the ass, but I needed the money. You know what I mean? And I was like, God, I gotta, you know, I gotta make things meet. You know, the freedom now comes from saying, you know what? Um, you know, I, you know. I don't care how much money you have. I just don't feel like doing business with you. Or I don't care how much money you were not. You're not the right client for me. Having that freedom to step away and say, you know what? Not all deals are good deals. That's not right. all money is good money. That's right. And I never had that freedom. I never had that because I'm always was in a state of panic mm-hmm. to pay bills. And having that just, just makes me so happy and so feel like I can breathe. You know what I mean? So it gives you this liberty to. Pick and choose who you want to work with. You're not obligated to, to take on someone you don't really want to work with just because of the monetary necessity. Yeah, and that's the freedom that I've never experienced before. You know, you know, always been in a state of oh my god, I gotta pay bills, I gotta pay bills, I gotta make money. This guy wants to make money. This is what this guy wants to give me money, so take his money. You know, now I'm like, oh, no, I'm good. This is, you don't play. No. And and now you got this this economic freedom so that you're not obligated to having to deal with someone's BS or all their yeah. the personality clashes or anything like that. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So Sam, let's talk about uh, what, how we can uh, do this thing together. Obviously, my goal would be to take my body to the next level. Mm-hmm. Um, I've, uh, I'm committed to it. I, I, uh, I'm 50 years old. I know I look 27. You look great, man. Yeah, I mean, like, like I said before, <laughs> real quick. So <clears throat> one of my goals, obviously, is to I've always looked, you know, I, I look at, I brought the picture of the guy that I saw. Let me see. Uh, I gotta see that. That's like my, that's like my man crush. Yeah, man, he has a perfect physique. How about that? Dude has a perfect physique. Got the, got the legs, got the, the waist, got the abs. Yeah, that's, that's a perfect physique, man. It's just monster, huh? And yeah. Ball, so. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, no he's, he's got he's got a perfect physique. Um, I don't know that it's possible for me to get to that, but obviously if I can, you know, how critical the, the diet is and also the portions and also the intake of, you know, calories and mm-hmm. fat and all the other stuff. So I understand the, the diet and I think I'm disciplined enough so therefore I can really take on that task. Yeah, you know, the most important part, and that's why I wanted to meet with you, Okay. you know, um, and then, you know, anybody can say, okay, eat this, eat this, eat this, mm-hmm. work out like this. That's the easy part. Mm-hmm. The, the hardest part of this whole thing is figuring out exactly your lifestyle okay. and be able to, because if it doesn't fit your lifestyle, then we have to figure out how we can make it look to fit your lifestyle. Anybody can say, oh, well, here's what I need you to do. Eat six times a day, eat chicken and rice and vegetables. You know, that's easy, right? Mm-hmm. So a professional will sit down and look at the whole picture right. and figure out, okay, what needs to be done, what not doesn't need to be done, right? Okay. So tell me about, I mean, Obviously, I know you do things on your terms and all that kind of stuff. Tell me about your lifestyle. Tell me about your, you know, your daily routine, kind of like the daily routine that you have. Tell me about 
how much drinking you do or don't do, how much socializing you do or you don't do. And really, you, have, you know, and, and it's okay. How committed are you to that goal? I mean, look, when I, you know me when I was bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a pig in my career, right? What I was willing to do back then, I don't necessarily want to do now. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Like, if I want to go out right now and my, my girl wants some pizza, I might have a slice of pizza with them. You know what I mean? And that, that's what I want to do now at this point in my life. Right. So, if you want to get to that level, mm -hmm. there's going to be, you know, obviously the training part is easy. Okay. Okay. The eating part, I'll figure that out for you. Okay. You know what I mean? The eating part, I'll figure that out. We, you know, we, you know, we can get people making food, whatever. We can do that. You know what I mean? You know, we have to figure out, are you willing to sacrifice some lifestyle that you might have right now to be able to get to that point? Because there's going to be some sacrifice. That guy right there, you know, you know, it's, it doesn't have the lifestyle that you have. Guarantee you that. I mean, the, the social life, the enjoyment, the restaurants, the late night dinners, all absolutely. that sort of yeah, stuff. Absolutely. So that guy right there looks like that, but he doesn't have your lifestyle. Well, I, I guess I can compromise a little bit. Oh, yeah. I, I, and I understand that because yeah. I also want to be, I want to be realistic about it. Absolutely, you have to be. And then at the same time, I also want to be able to create something that I'd be able to sustain long term. Yes, correct. There's no sense in doing it for a month or two yeah. or even, say, a year. Most people do that and then they just regress. And then you know what yeah. I mean? No, no, I, 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 I want to be all about, it's about health about sustainability, you know what I mean? Right, yeah, so I, I don't I don't want to get into something really funny to the point where it could really screw me up mm -hmm. in sort of long term, where I like put too many foreign substances in my body yeah. or things yeah. like that, I'm not, I'm but, not with but, that. Well, you have, you have a beautiful family, you know what I mean? Well, you know, no matter you know how good you look, if you can't enjoy your beautiful family, Absolutely. what is that, you know yeah. what I mean? So. so my main thing would be is like, I would say I, I want longevity, I want I want to be, as, as good as I feel right now, I want to say, Wish I can get another 50 years of this. Yeah. Might not happen, but I'm certainly striving towards that. So I'm looking mm -hmm. for that. I want to. I want more energy. Mm -hmm. That's what I want. I want more focus, concentration. I want to be in a position where I could really feel that I can. Uh, I got two young boys, and there's a How old are they? Tiger is five and a half, and Mac is two and a half, oh. and they are just loaded with energy. There's like it they just. From the morning they get, from the time they get up in the morning, all the way until they go to sleep, dude, they are just nonstop. They just want to play and wrestle, and you go play ball and the whole thing. So, and, and both of them are competitive as hell. So yeah. I already got them thinking that they're gonna be in a professional sports one day. That's so I, I want to be able to to keep up with them in that way, or in, in many ways probably beat them because I can beat them right now. But that that might not last a long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, you know, as father time is gonna catch up no matter what. No, no, but you no, want to no. delay it as much as possible. Absolutely, yeah. So I want to be I want to be um, in that position where I can take the hikes, I can go horseback riding, I can play golf, I can still I love playing basketball. That's like one of my passions. You know, I, I don't play it as as intensely and as uh, rigorously as I did before. So I understand where I stand on that, and there's certain moves I can't do anymore or refuse to lose. I don't want to get injured in any way. So I want to enjoy all that. And then also, too, is I want to be able to have like my one day where I get to eat whatever the hell I want. Yeah. So if I'm, say, 50% there or 70% to this guy right here, and at the same time, I can still keep my sanity where I can, you know, I am Mexican. Of course. So that's, yeah. that's a real, like, I'm I married one, I don't. Yeah, I don't know any Mexicans that look like this, so. <laughs> <laughs> So that's a, that could be a really tough flip. So I, I want to be able to do that, and I'm sort of there in some degree right now. Mm -hmm. I think I'll just need your help with the guidance on the, 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 another level of yeah. understanding nutrition, and then also the the workouts. I, I think that's where, you know, I can look at YouTube videos and I could talk to different people, but I want a sort of a scheduled regimen, work on shoulders, work on abs, work on legs, work on chest, work on arms, Okay, so and how to get my body to really shape in a way where aesthetically it looks the way I want. So let me ask you right now, yeah. you know, do you work with a trainer right now? I don't. You don't. Um, so, so I know you're very disciplined. I know obviously you wouldn't be so successful if you weren't disciplined, you know, but I think you would benefit from one. Uh, no doubt. You know what I mean? Benefit from one. Yeah. Somebody you report to, somebody who making sure everything is getting done. Right. Somebody who pushes you a little bit more above and beyond what you want to do. Because remember, you're in great shape right now. It's not like, okay, you're in horrible shape. See, if you're in a horrible shape, let's say, let's say you were 1,500 pounds overweight. 
and you wanted to just lose 20, 10, 20, 30 pounds, that's easy, right? But since you're in such a great shape, every little bit is going to take so much more effort. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It's, you know, I always say it's like a car stopping at the stop sign. Initially, it takes off very fast. Mm -hmm. And as it gets closer to the top speed, to, to its limit, every mile an hour is going to take longer and longer and longer. So for you, you're in great shape already. It's going to take every little bit of effort for you to get better and better and better incrementally. So um, I believe that a a very good trainer, mm -hmm. you know, will be essential to your success and for you to be able to be able to get up there and and, and, and do that. So the programming I'll take care of, okay? Right. You know, I, I want you to, you know, I, programming I'm, I'm going to take care of is I want you to train um, five days a week with a trainer, one day a week by yourself, you know, on Saturday, a walk, you know, a nice, nice place to walk and all that kind of stuff. And Sunday take off, and the Sunday is where you can take eat whatever you want. Okay. Okay. So I'll design that for you. Okay. Right. Um, so you already you said you already work with Metagenics. Cetagenics. Cetagenics. I'm sorry. Yeah. Cetagenics. Yeah, I don't, I don't follow through with it. I just thought the 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 fees and stuff that they were ridiculous, right? Uh, just, ridiculous. It, it okay. Makes sense. I, I wasn't I wasn't motivated to move forward with that. I just felt that it wasn't. It, 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 wasn't it, it was just. Extracting money, right? Yeah, yeah. Just, I, I don't really feel the bang was there. Yeah. The no, no. I, 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 I've, I've heard that before. Okay. So, um, when was the last time you guys were blood work done? I just had it done uh, probably about a week, week and a half ago. Okay. And I know everything is good, but it's everything optimal to do, do what you want to do. So, for example, let me tell you what I mean. Um, because if your cortisol, testosterone, estrogen thyroid are not optimal. They can be normal, but not optimal okay. for what you want to do. I mean, you have to realize, for example, testosterone levels, right? You know, normal range is between 300 to 800. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a big difference if you're 700 and 300. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yes. So what can we do to optimize things, especially at your age, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to be able to build muscle and get lean like a 25 year old, right? And I have recommendations for that too. So you can go, go somebody who understands sports nutrition, right. you know, get blood work done and see what everything should be optimized and should be optimized. So this way, mm -hmm. you're not, if you don't have that optimized, then that means that you're trying to go upstream. You're swimming against the current. Okay. So no matter what you do, nothing is happening. You're 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 progress. Absolutely. Yeah, so we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll put you in touch. You know, I have a few doctors that I work with. They can go in there, take a look at everything, and tell me, you know, what what needs to be done, what not doesn't need to be done, right? Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about your eating habits. Okay. Okay. So, what does your eating habits consist of now? You know, you know, what do you, a typical day? What describe a typical day? What time do you wake up? What do you eat? What happens? I usually go to the gym. After the gym, come back to the house. Okay. Do you um, eat? Do you eat? Do you eat anything when you get I up? I do not eat before I go to the gym. So okay. I'm there on the fast. It's my pre workout. Okay. Or uh, I think yeah. that's that you said have like. Oatmeal and cereal and banana. No, I'm so plus we're fasting. I, I agree with that one hundred percent. Yeah. Anyway, so the, I switched that around. I just saw enough proof of it. I heard enough people talk about it. I bought into it. So then, at, at first, it was kind of tough because I'd get up and I'd already have that hunger to want to eat. Yeah. And then I put that off, and it's like by eleven o'clock, I was starving, especially after a workout. So, but I I got my body acclimated to that. So I go to the gym, have my good um, workout for a solid hour or so, try to do different sets and different things, uh, different body parts, cardio, a um, little bit of the high intensity interval mm -hmm. training, mm -hmm. try to do a little bit of that as well. And my main thing is just really try to get a sweat and try to keep my heart, my heart rate up so therefore mm -hmm. I can do it and then like do things almost to the point where I'm like really fatigued when it shows up with results instead of like I do it like I'll do, I'll do curls and it's like well I don't feel like I'm really, you know, I look at other people that have massive biceps like how the hell do I get those? And well, well, well you're, you're training right now it seems like you're, you're healthy, you're lean, and you're not necessarily training for uh, muscle hypertrophy. You know what I mean? It's just I, I like a little training. bit of that, yeah. not too much of that right. also, because I understand that if I can get a little bit more muscle mass and get a little bit leaner, yep. and to the point where you I can, like, yeah, you can, and I can get uh, my energies there, and then also to my my strength. So those would be important things to me. Uh, continuing on with my eating habits, I would say the kind of where I maybe falter is um, rice, a lot yeah. of bread, very little once in a while. You know, let me tell you what I've done that made a big difference because you have to remember. 
-hmm. right? If you want to put on a little bit of muscle, you need carbs. Okay. Right? You, you know, you need carbs to be able to push. Okay. And remember, carbs releases insulin, which is the most anabolic hormone in your body. Okay. You know what I mean? So, what I've done, in the past, they'll tell you, okay, don't eat carbs at night, right? Mm -hmm. You know, in the past, I mean, you remember, don't eat carbs at night because, you know, you store it and that kind of stuff. But the carbs don't turn into fat unless your glycogen levels are full, okay. right? So what I've done now is because I work out in the morning like you, you know, all day I don't eat carbs. I just eat protein and vegetables, right? I eat protein and vegetables all day. But at night is where I actually have my carbs because... That's crazy. Yeah. It's, it's almost like completely against totally the opposite. way here. And, and, and it's working better than ever because remember, carbohydrates are secondary, are... are Carbohydrates are stored in your body mm -hmm. as glycogen. There's two places they're stored, muscle and liver, right? So if you're not eating carbs, your body is taking those glycogen stores and it's depleting them. Mm -hmm. So when you eat carbohydrates, the first and foremost task of those carbohydrates is to replace the glycogen that you have in your body first. Only and only if those glycogen levels are full, then the rest of the carbohydrates turn into body fat. But if your glycogen levels are depleted, they don't. That's why you see bodybuilders two days before competition, they eat carbs, 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 and it doesn't turn to fat because he has to replace the glycogen stores of your muscles and liver. So when I didn't eat carbs that night, when I go in the morning, I was sluggish. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything to push with, especially if you're trying to, you know, you know train for strength and muscle hypertrophy, I would go, I will be sluggish. But when I switched it, I had energy. And remember, carbs make you what? Sleepy, right? Mm -hmm. you know, you know, that's why you like carbs you are sleepy, to, right? You want to go to so, sleep. so it helps you sleep at night. Right. And also during the day, you, you, you feel perfect because you don't have the carbs. During the day, you feel energetic. You don't have the ups and downs of blood sugar level oh and everything like that. God. So you just switched it. Makes I, sense, right? Yeah, it's Italian. Yeah, I heard that's yeah. a totally Italian place. But we got an Indian guy that owns it, right? So, um, Robbie is his name. Mm -hmm. So we go there and I just, like I got a weakness, like one of my weaknesses is like a really good homemade lasagna. I freaking love lasagna. So I had a little, like half an order there. It was kind of like, I don't know, 6, 7 p.m. or so, or in the afternoon, somewhere around there. And I says, uh, give me one to go. <laughs> so, and when you believe it, like the last, the, brought it home, and then I come home late at night, so I don't know, maybe nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, and then I'm like, I can't go to sleep immediately because I need to kind of wind down. So then I'd have like half an order of lasagna, like exactly what you're saying. I'm, it, you're, you just went back in my mind because I ate the carbs late at night and then I slept good. Baby, just because it's been done a certain way all the time, that necessarily means you have to do it all the way. Absolutely. So a lot of times we, we're stuck in a way, oh, carbs are not making you fat. No, they don't. No, they don't. You know, oh, first of all, overall excessive cal caloric intake, law of thermodynamics, that's what's going to, you know, either make you skinny or make you, it's just like a bank account, right? right? You know what I mean? And also, you know, hey, look, if cars make you sleepy, then you know what you want to sleep. <laughs> and I don't know about you, man. Train, I mean, um, I, don't, I don't necessarily, I see some of the trainers there, like when I go to Gym 24 Hour Fitness, I'm like, yeah, I don't know about that. You know, know, I'm, I don't know why I want to be trained by that person. They're, yeah. They're, they're not like what I'm looking to look like. Got it. So, Got it. Uh, you're saying uh, from, from the night before to the following morning? Yes. Yeah. Uh, 14 hours. I'm looking at it. Yeah. About 14 hours. So that's, the, that's like little, your little fast. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. And then so you eat around the same, same amount, 11, 30, 12. And then after that, what happens? Uh, typically, uh, move on about my day or start my sessions, my phone calls, conference calls, appointments. What is your next meal? Uh, could be right around maybe 3, I would say 3 to 4 p.m. Three to four p.m. Yeah. Okay. So about another, yeah, about another, about another three. I would say three to four hours later. Okay. Another meal there. In and between, sometimes I snack on some almonds, some cashews, raw cashews, not salted, mm -hmm. not anything. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we have a protein cookie, mm -hmm. like the ones you, you yeah. know, sell at the health food store. Got it. Some of that, and then just I'm drinking water throughout the day. I don't drink sodas or I don't drink any of them. Coffee in the morning. Got it. A little bit of creamer. Um, and, and, and then I would say then that that's at about 4 o'clock. Yeah. Then then you probably have another thing around 7.30 or 8. 7.30 to 8 and then like 10 o'clock usually. Like yeah, like the late 9 30, night. 10 o'clock I have another, uh, maybe I, sometimes I'll have a, uh, a small salad or I'll have like some leftover food that we had from dinner or, you know, depending on what it is. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, look, man. I mean, your your what you're doing right now is perfect. Okay. It's perfect for health and well being, and I, 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 you know, and 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 what you're doing, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. You know, um, if you want to get a little bit more muscle, we have to change a couple of things. Not a lot. Okay. Not a lot. One thing you have to change is that you have to understand that if you want to build muscle, you have to be be what I, what's called in an anabolic state. Okay. So your body is usually a normal person in a 24 hour period, they're, they're, they're 12 hours anabolic and 12 hours catabolic, right? Which means that in a, in a, in a day, 12 hours of it, they're breaking things down and 12 hours they're building things up so they're even, right? Wow. They don't, you know, this is called homeostasis, right? They're in the same, they're, they're in the same state. Okay. So if you want to be add more muscle, that means that you have to tip the scale a little bit more anabolic than catabolic so you build a little bit more than you break down, right? Which means that we have to, one, increase your caloric intake a little bit, and two, we have to have more protein because the way anabolic state works is that protein synthesis must occur. Protein synthesis is when your body is synthesizing protein to build new tissue. Unfortunately, protein is made up of 23 amino acids. 23 amino acids, look at each amino acid as a link in a chain. So you want to make sure you have constant um, influx of good amino acids from good protein sources, which is like I said, you know, eggs, fish, you know, lean red meats, chicken, um, you know, cottage cheese, yogurt, you know, and if you want protein shakes, you don't have to have protein shakes, you know what I mean? You don't have to, mm -hmm. you know, protein shakes are just so simple when you're on the run, Right. you know, so you're eating and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Right. So as a, uh, as a supplement. Absolutely. So substitution of. Absolutely. Supplements gotcha. are supplements to your diet. They never replace a diet, gotcha. you know, mm -hmm. and I, everybody always asks me, do you, go, do, do you need supplements? I'm like, you don't need supplements. Mm -hmm. It just makes your life a little easier, especially if you're busy and all that. But if you're at home, you know, right now, if I want to, you know, do I want a protein shake or do I want to eat, eat? You have, I don't know, you know, but if you want to run, you can't like eat a food and you're in a meeting, a protein shake will be the best choice, right. you know. So, you know, so we have to devise a thing, you know, like cashews and stuff like that, very good, very healthy. However, they lack essential amino acids that your body needs to mm -hmm. keep the protein synthesis going, you know, during that, you know, hours between, like, say, four and eight. You know what I mean? So uh, we'll, 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 we'll substitute that and and we'll, we'll take your, you know, we can take it to the next level, for That's sure. Awesome, man. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm obviously mentally and physically, I think I'm, I'm ready. I want to put myself in that space where I feel like I'm with other things in my life that I move forward. You know, my spirituality and my family and my business. I want to be able to physically. I want to make make sure that that's also scaling up the way I want it to. to you know that. what? You know, you're you're a definition of a one percenter. You know, you're a definition of a one percenter because, you know, you have faith, you have family, mm -hmm. you have fitness, you have finance, and you know how to have fun. That's right. And that to me is, is a five percent lifestyle. You know, it's not like, okay, you know, I know so many people who are well financially, but their health and their family suffers. You know, but I see you on the sideline, I've been, I've been watching you mm -hmm. for years now, mm -hmm. where, I mean, I say, I'm like, hey, he's the overall package. Faith, family, fitness, finance, and fun. You know, and, um, you know, I'm just watching you from sunlight, man. I mean, you know, I'm proud of you and I'm, I'm, you, I'm always, I'm always inspired and always, you know, you always inspired me from years and years ago. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I pre you know, I'm very appreciative to call when you. When did we first meet, Sam? Do you remember? What I do you? remember. What I, was that? I do remember, G. You came in to my personal training facility and um, you were dating some, someone and she wanted to sign up and you came with her. You know, and you were, you know, you were came in with your suit on, and you were, you know, looking good, very sharp, and you were, and she was ready to sign up, and you were negotiating with me. You know, what I mean? <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you, you, you came in, you came in, you know, a very hard negotiator. You know, and I remember, um, and it's funny, you know, we were, we were talking about it, in, and and you were negotiating with me, and out, you know, and um, we we got her signed up, and after that, you know. Um, Dan told me about you, and then um, one time we went to what was it? Um, 
a, a nice restaurant in Hollywood with Dan and I, you know, you and Dan, and we became more and more friends and got to know you more, and, you know, and things like that, so. Oh my God. So that's got to be what? 16, 18 years ago, somewhere around Yeah, there. I would say about 16 years ago. I was just, I was just getting started. Like 2003, around there? I would say 2003. Wow. 2002, 2003. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I remember when I was like, wow, you know, but like I said, I didn't see you for 10, 12 years, you know, I, I, you know but when I saw you, it was just like shocked. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wow, this guy turned back the clock. You know, I'm like, you know, and, you know, um, you know, I saw you 10 years ago, like I said, you look younger now than you did 10 years ago. Oh my God. That's just, uh, I don't know, I, I think it's uh, the spirit of being happy, optimistic, uh, just enjoying the fruits of all the work that I put in. Yeah. Obviously my wife is just amazing, my, my kids, um, it's just, it's awesome, man. It's, you know, I'm so grateful, you know, because you, your story is even more, um, Exhilarating the mind. I was reading your, your Instagram and all that, and how you were uh, born in a war torn country. And you know, it's like, you know, I was poor, but I wasn't threatened with war and bombs and all that. And that's, that's just that's another level, man. Uh, I understand poverty, and then there's poverty with violence. Yeah. And that's that's a that's a level that most people can't get their mind around. Well, I think I think that's what motivated you. You know, and you know, uh, Tim Grover, who's going to speak at your event. Mm -hmm. You know, he talks about in his book. You know, and nobody really talks about it. It's your dark side, right? That's right. You know, you know, you have to go to your dark side to be able to to be able to do that. A lot of people don't talk about it because they're all, all oh, well, it's happy this, this, and this, and that. You know, and I'm sure deep down you have a dark side because you see that you've gone through it, mm -hmm. and there's a point in your life you say, you know what, I never want to fucking live like this again. You know, this is it. I'm not going back. This is not going to be for me. This is it. You know, and I've been there. I've been there many times. There's so many levels. You know what I mean? With there's so many things, you know, like I said, being, you know, you know, being a refugee of war, getting bombed on, you know, up until like, you know, going to, you know, having no dad, you know, going to people, you know, going to homes like this during Christmas and seeing the kids my age with dads and having Christmas presents and I'm going like, why don't I have wow. a house like this or, or, or a Christmas present and, mm -hmm. or, you know what I mean, like that, you know, you know, having my mom's car break down every other day. You know, we have to park the car on a hill so that we can push the car and pop it into clutch. You know what I mean? And it will smoke for like an hour with a diesel. It will smoke for an hour and, and then by the time, you know, hopefully by the time we go to school, it doesn't smoke so much so the kids don't make fun of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Crazy, so you know, you, you, this, this, goes, this goes, goes to the point that you're like, you know what, man, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have that. But, you know, like we talked about it, it's sad that, um, it's sad that, you know, sometimes some of your family members, you know, they they criticize you and oh, why you work so hard and why you need all of this, why are you doing all that and you know and things like that and I'm like because I don't want my children to experience what my children you know did. You know, I don't know what you do. You know, there's always that fine balance. How much do I give them? How much do I not give them? But damn, it feels good that like my girls haven't seen that. Mm -hmm. My girls don't know that. You know, my girls just you know. Um, for lack of a better word, I mean, you know, I make him, I make sure to understand the value and to have to work hard and things like that, but not to the way that, that I've seen things. Wow, that's, I just got chills, man. That's so freaking inspirational. That's amazing, man. What country were you from? I'm from Iran. Iran. Yeah. You, so you speak uh, Farsi? Farsi? Yeah, I speak Farsi, yeah. Yeah, that guy Saddam Hussein was bombing on us for eight years. I mean, literally, gee, I remember walking out Every night you hear sirens, and when you hear sirens, you know, they automatically shut off all the lights on the city, so the planes don't know where the city's at and all the places are at. It goes full shutdown. The only thing you do see is when you look in the sky, you see anti-aircraft missiles. It looks like, it looks like fireworks at Disneyland, but it's not, it's missiles going up, and you see planes shooting down, and we go hide in the basement. And my grandma was so brave. My grandma didn't go to the basement, she went to <laughs> on the roof. Because my grandma was like, hey, if the bomb's gonna drop, the basement's not gonna save you. At least I'm gonna go watch the show. She's like, I'm gonna she, she, I'm gonna watch the show. And we're in there and like, you still still a little bit. And we'll be in the basement like this. I'm like, wow, grandma, you're crazy. You talking about just someone courageous. Yes. Yes. I've seen it all. Yeah. Wow. 
So what would be our what would be our uh, next step? Um, what, what would you say is our our initiation to this? What what would be the step we would to take in order to move this forward? Now, I'm going to take some notes right now. Okay. Now I'm going to email you the program. Okay. I'm going to talk to a couple of trainers. Okay. And I'll put them in touch with you. Mm -hmm. You know, I want you to <clears throat> let me know when your start date is. You know, and um, you know, I'll have you know. You know, I, I'll even meet with the trainer, maybe come back here and meet with the trainer. I'll introduce you to the trainer. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take your body fat here. Sure. You know, I'm going to you know, take, take your measurements of body fat here. <clears throat> and um, and then I'll devise a whole step-by-step -step program. Okay. And, and, and get you ready. Okay. Well, in terms of, like, when I should work out, diet. Absolutely. The, what what uh, exercises that you Absolutely. do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So let me just take a couple of notes really quick. Sure. We'll do that. So, would you say your workout time is around what normally? Let's do, say, I would say 8.30 to 9.30. Okay. 8.30 to 9.30 workout. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you say usually eat around 11.30. So, 11.30. Let's, let's say about um, in between, say, 10, 10 to about 11.30, depending on... Um, yeah, depending on a couple of factors, if I need to run a few errands. Okay, so, 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 okay, so 10? In between like 10 to 11.30 is usually when I have my first meal. Okay. Then you say usually around 3 next meal? Yeah, I would okay. say around there. Okay. In between 3 and 4. In between there too, Sam, just so you know. Yeah, you got little snacks, right? Some snacks yeah. and stuff. I like to have like a green apple. Um, I don't, uh, when I went to Senegenics, they explained the whole the, the sugar content in most fruit. Mm -hmm. you know, so I've li almost basically eliminated bananas, mangoes, pineapple, watermelon, honeydew melon. I've eliminated all that. Um, basically, from a fruit standpoint, it's blueberries, raspberries, boysenberries, nice. strawberries. Go look at my fridge, man. <laughs> I get blueberries by the, by the case. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay, so I got that. Got that, and then you said last meal about nine ten o'clock. Yeah, I would say that. Got it. <clears throat> okay. Okay, and you're okay working out Monday through Friday. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What supplements are you taking right now? I got um, I can like take pictures of them, like do a send them to me. Picture, like send them to me. Um, the omegas, the uh, um. Some of the little powders. Do, 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 do you take turmeric? I think it's in there. I don't. Okay. I don't I'm not like yeah. on it. Yeah. You send, 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 send me some pictures because what okay. I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on a healthy concussion because here's what I here's what I take. You know, I take omegas for okay. sure. Omega threes. You don't need omega sixes. You need omega threes. Omega three. Yeah. Okay. So you need omega threes. Okay. Um, you need CoQ10. Okay. Okay. You need an antioxidant blend. An antioxidant blend. You know what antioxidants are, right? Mm -hmm. So an antioxidant blend. So something like something that has reservatol, maybe great seed extract okay. to be able to help you know, with uh, the repair of the cells and all that kind of stuff. So you need that. Um, and like I said, turmeric is great anti-inflammatory and overall, overall uh, thing. Um, um, I've been taking at night, before I go to sleep, I've been taking CBD. Okay, CBD is basically cannabis but without the THC. What that does is help me decrease inflammation. Mm. As you get older, you have more and more information. So especially for your joints and things like that. I'll okay. give you stuff to try if you like it. No, um, I'm, I'm all about uh, an, mm -hmm. the anti... Uh, Inflammatory. Yes, yeah. I'm, I'm all yeah. about that. So. So, so I will do that. Um, then send me, send me the pictures all that. I'll put everything together. If whatever we can use, we'll use. Okay. Um, that's it. And I'll, 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 let, me, let me call... Um, The best doctor that I know that handles um, sports medicine and understands sports nutrition. Okay. Matter of fact, I sent Ed there years ago. Did you? Yeah. Okay. You know, um, his name is Dr. Lee in Huntington Beach. You know what I mean? So do you want me to make a call and connection with him? Or, do you, or, or, or I can actually give you his number and you can call him. That's fine. Well, whatever whatever okay. would work out. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll send us. Chinese? Send you. Yes. Okay. So now he's older, so he has a, a doctor under him. Mm -hmm. I forgot her name. 
and uh, work rules for them. So I'll 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 call them and um, and um, introduce it to them. Okay. And I want you to go just for for they you can probably just get your blood work done anywhere. And just go see him for consultation. I'll see. Maybe you can even do it remotely. I'm not sure. Okay. You know, because I want to make sure I take you know get get it. In the meantime, you have one done, right? Yeah, I just had I just had blood work done uh, about a week week and a half. Send me that. Yeah. Send me that. I, I want to see it. You know, I want to send me that so I can just look at a couple of things and see if there's a way we can optimize it or we don't use optimize it. We go from there. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we're good. Sounds good. We're good. I'll I'll send you a whole detail. Um, you know, text me your email, I'll send you a whole detailed breakdown of your workouts and everything else like that and we'll get done.